let us execute the test cases on uh, selenium grid now so we are done with selenium grid setup and now let us do the test execution on selenium grid okay so how to do the execution as i said we will be selecting the os like the hub will be selecting the os and browser based on the desired capabilities which we are setting okay so the very first step would be setting desired capabilities okay and then we need to launch the browsers by using this line okay so i'll i'll show you how we can set the desired capabilities let me go to my project okay so here is my project this is the sample project which i had created okay now what do we need to do is we need to set the desired capabilities okay so my second it takes time uh, first time desired capabilities let us say dr is equal to uh, let us say first i'll give I'll, I'll just initialize to null okay and then i'll set well, dr is equal to desired capabilities dot for which browser i want i want it for chrome browser fine and then what next i want I want to set the platform okay so what I'll do is I'll just set dr uh, dot set platform okay set browser name uh, let me do that let me set the browser name to Chrome which is not required because we already set the desired capabilities but let me do that dr dot again set platform okay set platform and my platform is uh it is windows 10 right let me show you platform dot windows 10 okay so le let, let us go to the selenium grid here okay and if you click on view configurations here you will, you will get the details like hub and port okay now if you go to if you just ho hover your mouse on browsers you will get the details like what is your uh, platform name it is windows 10 what is your uh, maximum instances it is 5 what is your browser name it is chrome okay so you, you will get all the details from here right so if i want to select the chrome browser then i need to give this uh, credentials okay sorry uh, this uh, platforms okay if i want to choose uh, firefox then i need to give this browser name and platform okay so likewise so that's the reason i am setting this desired capabilities okay so now i am done with setting desired capabilities okay and uh, this property is already set okay now what i what the, the difference will be here where i am launching this driver okay so earlier how how i was launching web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver <laughs> but now i need to give the credentials of my hub okay and where is my hub here okay so here uh if you go on top okay so here is my hub what it is saying is client should connect to this so that means this is my hub address okay so if I just copy this okay and if I just give it to my here instead of chrome driver what I'll be using is I'll be using remote web driver okay so let me just use this remote remote web driver fine and okay now here it is asking me to give the desired capabilities okay so and here i need to give the url as well desired capabilities as well as url so i'll be giving my url new url and then my actual url okay so my actual url is my hub url so this is my hub url and then my desired capability so this is a parameterized constructor okay uh, let me import this url oh, sorry import for, uh, for this url and this is done okay what it is saying is add project section fine okay so now i am i'm almost done what i'm doing is i'm i'm setting chrome browser 
on Windows 10 okay and here I am giving the remote web driver URL of your hub machine okay so these are the only changes you need to do in your script so all these things will be present in before method or maybe in a test base right uh, based on how you design your framework okay so you just need to do the changes over there you may manage few things from uh, like 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 this in your properties file as well or you may make the parameterize Jenkins job okay so we'll see that how we can make a parameterize Jenkins job as well okay so now I'm done with all my changes okay now simply what I'll do is I will start execution of my test cases from here okay so I'll just execute run as it is my test ng test okay so here can you see in my this is my node machine right so in my node machine you can see it is starting chrome driver and only local connection is allowed that's what so it has started the chrome driver in my node so this is th this command prompt is, is for my node okay so you can observe here on the top Th this is the command which we used for setting up the uh, node okay so my node uh, execution is started on my node machine okay now you can see the browser is launched see we have the option to give the version as well okay so if I specify version then it will select the version based on it okay looks like something wrong in our script let us see what is that what it is I'm giving web driver driver and driver is equal to new remote web driver looks fine what is not executing then let us see okay let me find out what's the issue give me a second okay so there is no issue let me just uh, start my execution again and let us observe here or let me what uh, let me uh, register this node again what I'll do is I'll register node again let me just copy this command again and let me register my node again okay my node is started and it is ready to use now let me start my test execution okay the execution is started okay and you can see it is navigating to the website which I have mentioned okay so the test execution is happening on through selenium grid though it looks on my local machine because I only have one computer or one machine to show okay uh, in my machine I have all hub and node everything on single machine but if uh, like uh, in in ideal in ideal situation it will be on different machine so let us say my hub is windows 10 then my node will be different machines might be windows uh, windows machine with windows 10 windows machine with windows 7 uh, linux machine so something like that okay so those will be difference on my machine it looks like it is only one right so that's that's the reason you may not be finding the difference of executing the test cases on grid but a, you can, what you can do is you can register this node on 
different machines and your execution will be done over there on those machines okay not on your hub machine okay so see there will be three machines okay so first is the machine where you actually working so let us say this is the machine where i am working right so from my machine where i am navigating i am navigating to the hub machine okay so this hub machine will be different okay different okay where my hub uh, ro role hub is configured with selenium grid so that's the that machine where hub is set up okay and there are some other set of machines where you are node selenium grid node setup is done which are connected to this hub okay which is my second machine okay so that's how th there will be requirement of let us say three machines okay to, to to observe actual test execution through selenium grid okay but this is how we can uh, do the execution through selenium grid okay what do, what we have done we have just uh, done the setup for this uh, hub and node okay with with a very basic simple commands then we uh, we set the desired capabilities which will decide on which OS and which uh, browser you want to do the test execution and then simply we use this remote web driver by passing the URL and desired capabilities right rest other things will remain same okay now this is done through my local now let us execute the same things through my Jenkins machine okay so let me push this code to my github before that let me start my Jenkins as well Okay, let me push this code to my GitHub. Okay, so I have many things. Let me push all. Ideally, we should not add all because the settings file and the, your dot class files does not add any values on get repository. Okay, so we should add the your source files only. But enough, uh, but just to save the time, I have just given it as a hyphen a so that it will add all the files. Let me commit and just give some meaningful message. Setup grid. okay now just push it on my master node where i have my code okay so it is done fine done now let me uh, go to the job so this is my job the me gui one is my job okay and my see my selenium grid setup is there okay i have hub i have node okay so i have everything in place now what i'll do is i'll just trigger this job okay what i'm doing in this job in this job i am doing my sonar scanner and i am doing my test execution through selenium grid so let us go here and now on the latest build okay i should be on 13th build Let us observe just the execution. Now it will start your sonar scanning. Okay, you can see the quality get used is sonar way. Okay, now my sonar analysis is completed and you can find this uh, result over here. Okay, so that's what we talked in our couple of sessions before. So I'm using sonar cloud uh, to do my code scanning nowadays which is m the mandatory step in your continuous integration uh, pipeline
okay so now it is uh, just searching for your maven uh, things resources compiler plugin build plugin now my actual test execution will start now again if you go to uh, here can you see it is started okay so it is hitting my node and then my no sorry it is hitting my hub and then hubs are distributing it over to my nodes and the actual execution is performed okay so as i said though it looks uh, to you on a sim sim single machine but that w this will not be the case the machine on which you are working th that is your machine let us say then your hub will be set up on some centralized machine which is other than your machine and then that hub machine is connected to the different node machines which are different than your your machine and hub machines okay so that's how now can you see the test execution is done build is success okay so this is how we can perform the test execution by using selenium grid okay and i should be getting the email now okay fine so that's it i have for this video where what we did is we executed the uh, executed the test cases on selenium grid okay and how we did that we we did the setup on selenium hub then selenium node and then we set the desired capabilities and then we just used this uh, new remote instead of driver uh, web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver what we used web driver driver is equal to new remo remote web driver and then my url of my hub machine okay so this is hub machine of my local hub right so that's why you are seeing local host but in your organizations it will be set up on some server so you, you need to give that address over here right and this dr is my desired capabilities which will decide which uh, os and which browser uh, of of particular node it should hit okay so that's how we can execute the test cases on selenium grid okay so that's it for this video in my next video i will talk on how we can execute the test cases on a uh, cloud platforms such as browser stack or source lab okay so we will be integrating those things again with jenkins as a part of our continuous integration pipeline okay thank you